Hello everyone and welcome back to another week in my life. I was craving some boba so I decided to walk to Gongcha and order my usual black milk tea with pearl and no sugar. In the evening we went back to Pai Junction. If you watched last week's vlog you know that we already got some stuff there but we had to go back. And my dad beat me to the pie so there's already a slice in here. We're having our pies on the couch. Actually both feeling kind of sick today. Yes, so we have sick a diffuser day pie. On. Here's the diffuser. I love the smell. Do you know what scent that is? Uh I forgot. <laughs> After the rain. After the rain yes. from Sage Wellness. Our favorite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bon appetit. And by Thursday morning, I had totally inherited my mom's cough. So here I am having some Neo Citroen. Okay, hello everyone. Good morning. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite breakfast right now. Um, I go through some breakfast phases. So I think last year around this time was like my oatmeal and I was having that every single day. Um, this time around, I've just been having my usual yogurt. So I always like to start out with some vanilla yogurt. Currently I'm using the Siggy's brand. This one we got from, where did we get this? Um, <laughs> Safeway. From Safeway. So I like to just mix this so it's a nice consistency because the liquid usually rises up to the top. And you can see I've had quite a bit of this this week. Um, so I do about three scoops of that. on my little bowl from Crate and Barrel. This is my favorite yogurt bowl. <laughs> and then my next step, I do um, some buckwheat honey. This one we got from Home Sense. It's really good, it's a nice um, dark honey. So I just like to do a little bit of a drizzle. Makes me feel really artistic when I do this because it always looks so nice. I just do a little bit. Honey is really good for you. It has some really nice health benefits. So it's something that my family and I like to have. And then my next step is just putting in some of this PC granola. And this comes with some almond slivers and coconut flakes as well. Just gonna pour some of that on top. And then recently, I've also just been adding a little bit of corn flakes on top. And then, last but not least, I always have some berries in the morning. These are a really good source of antioxidants. So I've already washed them in my little berry colander. And then we just pour them on top. And that is my favorite breakfast. Bon appétit! Please ignore the laundry I was totally ignoring and didn't want to fold, but here I am just doing my hair routine. And then our tree finally arrived. Saturday, we decided to go to the Glamorgan Bakery. Hey. So disappointed. <laughs> what did you want? Well, I came here for um, their scones, uh, the raspberry scones. Uh, they're the best, I think, that yeah. I've, I've tried in, in Calgary. But I kind of felt that coming here, I'm not going to get any because it's already 3:30 in the afternoon, um, and I'm right. So, anyways, um, what did we get? Yeah. So I actually got here. This is a raspberry, what did they call this? Shortbread, I yeah, think? Yeah, raspberry, raspberry shortbread. shortbread. And I got some Boston cream. Donut holes. Donut holes. <laughs> mm? <laughs> and, and then I wanted the cheese bread. Okay. It's just nice and savory. And yeah. Like that. So next time we should come early. So we'll be here probably <laughs> at 7 in the morning <laughs> next time, just to be sure.
Nag-review? Yeah. <laughs> We then went to Starbucks for some holiday drinks. Hi, um, could I please get two tall chestnut praline lattes? Yeah. Um, could I get them both half sweet, please? And yeah. no whipped cream. Sorry, say that again. Uh, no whipped cream. Yeah. And then could I get one of them made with non-fat milk, please? Yeah, anything else? No, that's everything. So it's two tall chestnut pralines, both half sweet, both with no whip, but only one non-fat. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that sounds good. It'll be 1103. Perfect, thank you. Hello, everybody. So today uh, I'm wearing, this is an oversized trench coat. Um, this is from a South Korean brand called uh, The Bonduk Saints. I uh, got this um, uh, coat two years ago for my, uh, my birthday. It was um, given to me by Maureen and Michael uh, because I love this when I saw this on Crash Landing on You. Uh, it was on episodes four and five. Uh, Dan, uh, the North Korean fiance of Captain Ree wore this when she went to get her car from the military village and I guess it will stay with me for a long time I really love it it's long but um, it fits me well I guess and now I'm going to show you um, my first ever vintage purchase from my seller from Bologna Italy this is actually a Fendi <laughs> And I think this is now 40 years old because this is a Fendi 365 line which Fendi launched in 1977. I think their tagline has something to do with uh, something to wear everything, every day, something like that. So um, yeah, it's a military jacket and I really love it. And uh, yeah, so that's it. And now for my top, this is a J Crew. And my jeans is also a J Crew, which I got about six years ago um, on a Boxing Day at the Toronto Premium Outlets. And my shoes, these are my go-to white sneakers from Saludos. They're a company based in Soho, New York City. Yep, all right, let's go inside. That's the outfit. We went into Crate and Barrel and everything just looked so festive and Christmassy. I loved every second of it. It's really nice. It's really good, traditional. Oh, oh, I love that one. We got what we were looking for. Santa's Village was also finally open. <laughs> we left the mall and the sky was so beautiful. Then we went to Monsoon Izakaya for dinner. This is my Zara coat that everybody compliments me on every time I wear it. I don't know why, but it's just a statement piece. I just love it. Um, I'm wearing my uh, turtleneck, and it's a cropped and it's asymmetrical turtleneck. It's from Daniel Guzio. My cargo pants are from Brandy Melville. They're nice and green. I feel like I kind of look like Kim Possible with this outfit. <laughs> and then my shoes are from New Balance. Um, I've been a long time wearer of New Balance before they came back into the scene. So I'm very proud of that. And my bag is from Fendi. It's a Fendi blackout. It's called the Force Dubonici, but I love it because the monogram is super subdued. You can't really see it unless you're actively looking for it and it just shows in the light. So it's really nice. And I think that's about it. And this is what a tree looks like this year. Hello, you guys. Um, haven't filmed in a little over 24 hours. My health has seriously just kind of declined. Um, and after dinner today, I decided to um, take a little COVID test. And I 
got these two hard solid lines almost instantaneously so definitely just wanted to let you guys know COVID is still a thing this is the PSA I thought I was gonna be spared by it not um, having it for the last two and a half years now that it's existed um, but it's still definitely out there so um, it's better to be safe than sorry I'm going to take this next week just to recover. Um, still gonna try my best to vlog, but for now I'm just going to take it easy and rest up. Um, stay safe and I will talk to you guys in the next vlog.